This is 2003 AP Physics B um, exam, FRQ exam question, and now these sections are covered in AP Physics 2. So the problem states that a student is asked to design a circuit to supply an electric motor with 1 milliamp of current at 3 volt potential difference. Determine the power to be supplied to the motor. To calculate the power needed for the motor, we could use um, the power formula, which is P is equal to I times V. The current is given 1 milliamp and the voltage is given 3 volt. So you have 1 milli, milli stands for 10 to the negative 3, and times 3 volts. So the power is going to be 3 10 to the negative 3 watts. So that would be the answer for the first question. And for the second question, they say determine the electrical energy to be supplied to the motor in 60 seconds. So the power also has another formula, which is work over time. So when they say energy, that means they're asking about work that is going to be measured in joules. And that is equal to the power times the time. So that is 310 to the negative 3 times, and they say 60 seconds. So that's 60, which gives me 18 10 to the negative 2 joules. For the next question, they ask you to, um, they say that operating as designed above, that the motor can lift 0 0.012 kilogram mass, a distance of one meter in 60 seconds at the constant velocity. Determine the efficiency of this motor. So for this part, uh, again, they give me the mass and the distance is going to travel and how long it takes. And the um, important part is constant velocity. So the power is equal to um, IV and it equals to the work over time. So I can also rewrite this as force times the distance over time. The force acting on the mass, Rmg, and the tension force. So the tension force is equal to the uh, force of gravity because it is constant velocity. There is no acceleration. So I can write as the power is equal to force over force times and the distance over time I can rewrite as velocity. So this part I can write as velocity. And um, plugging in the numbers, we have the power of lifting the, um, the mass is equal to the force, which is mg. And then for velocity, I have one meter over 60 seconds. So that's going to be the distance traveled over the time. So for mg, we will have 0.12. Uh, mass is 0 0.02 and then multiplied by 10 gives me 0.12. And then for velocity, I have where the distance is one meter over 60 seconds. So the power that needed to lift this mass is equal to 2 times 10 to the negative third watts. So that is how much power um, you get by lifting the mass. And I will have to divide that by the, um, but the power that the motor provides. So to find the efficiency of the motor, it's the work done. Um, by the energy provided by the motor. So the work done is to change the potential energy. So right here, the potential energy is going to be the work done, which is M, G, and H. And um, 
so that would be the energy over 60 seconds or I can take the power over that time so right here for the work done I can use the power um, used to lift it or done over the power provided by the motor so I can re rewrite the formula this way as well. So I have 210 to the negative 3 divided by 3 times 10 to the negative 3, which gives me 0.67%, uh, or it's going to be 67%. So I can rewrite it as equals to 67%. And then for the next question, they say to operate the motor, the student has available only a 9 volt battery to use as the power source and the following five resistors. So we have the following five resistors. And um, they ask in the space below, complete a schematic diagram of a circuit that shows how one or more of these resistors can be connected uh, to the battery and the motor so that one milliamp of current and three volt of potential difference are supplied to the motor. And then they be sure to label um, each resistor in the circuit with the correct value of its resistance. When I build my circuit, um, here is going to be my motor. I'm going to call it M. So it um, has to have one milliamp of current in the voltage drop. So if I measure the voltage on this motor, it should have three volts, the one that they asked me at the beginning. So I have to connect the resistors or resistor from the ones that I have um, that will be connected to the 9 volt battery and this 9 volt um, needs to be spread all over these two resistors and or three resistors or four resistors or one resistor doesn't matter uh, as long as together they take away the 6 volt from the 9 volt and leave only 3 volt for the motor. And um, if I look at my provided um, resistors, I know that the current um, positive side of the battery and negative side of the battery, the current must be flowing through is 1 milliamp. and um, the voltage dropped on this resistor and the voltage dropped on that resistor together um, should give me six volt. So I have two choices. I can take, I cannot take four and four ohm resistors because 4,000 times one milliamp will give me four volt. For each four, that's gonna give me eight. Um, and I need three left for the motor. So I cannot take four and four. I also cannot take 10 ohm resistor for one of them or for both of them um, because then I will lose 10, um, 10 volt on that resistor with a one milliamp current. So I only have two resistors left, 1000 kilo ohm, so one, one kilo ohm and five kilo ohm. So if I have 1000 kilo ohm, the voltage, let me call it V1, and this one is V5 on 5 kilo ohm. V1 is going to be the current, Ohm's law. It's the current times the resistance. So the current is 1 milliamp, and the resistance is 1 kilo ohm. So V1 is going to give me 1 volt. And V5 is going to be again I times R. The current is 1 milliamp. And the resistance is 5000 ohm or 5 kilo ohm. So the voltage on the 5 um, ohm resistor 
is going to be 5 volt, the drop of the voltage. And the total voltage in all three units on both the resistors and the motor together should give you 9 volt. And that's what's happening right now. I have uh, 1 volt dropped here. I have 5 volts dropped here. And I have 3 volts dropped here. So together um, gives me 9 volts. And that is all I would have to have for this problem from 2003 on AP Physics B. And um, if you like the videos and if you learned from them, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope I will see you in the future videos. Thank you.